What's up everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic, and today's beautiful project. This is the Plymouth Barracuda. Absolutely a stunning, stunning car. I can't wait to get stuck into this one. It is obviously the Plymouth Barracuda. It comes, it's the 426 Hemi version, but it is the only version, which does mean it comes with that 426 Hemi with the shaker hood. I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be quite exciting i don't know what to do quite with it yet so we'll figure that out as we go along in at this episode it is available from the barn the junkyard and the auction house you can only not buy it brand new we obviously got ours from the auction house and it's in pretty good condition in all honesty the body's a little bit low but everything else well above the 50 so i'm definitely happy with that did we get a good deal though no not even close we paid more than 10 percent over what it is worth we bought it for fifty thousand seven hundred and twenty two and could sell it for forty five thousand one hundred and eighteen losing out on five thousand six hundred and four before we even begin which is a bit of a shame but hopefully we can have as good a trip out to the drag strip as we did in the last episode and hopefully it makes some winnings back there as i said the engine in this one is the v8 hemi 426 shaker because it's got the little shaker hood on it that pops out through the hood. It has 425 factory horsepower, and we will obviously be adding all of the performance parts today. Look how good that looks. Trying to tune up that engine and make it as absolutely incredible as we can. We will talk about all the new bits to come with this one. And as far as I can tell, this one doesn't have any new rims. They are just the Bolt Atlanta rims, which is a bit of a shame, but we still got some new rims to play around with. So maybe we'll just keep them on maybe keep the black and silver maybe change the silver to a different color we'll see as we go on and decide what color we're going to pick for this beautiful hemi cuda now obviously it does have a livery on it you've got a lovely hemi livery on there we will probably be sticking with that one but we will check out the liveries as we go on later on now don't forget we do have a competition running over on the red dot games discord server bit of a mouthful there the previous winners are here and up there on the board so if you do win you do end up in my game which i like you know you might not like it but there we go it is what it is and this one does have a prize it is running for another pretty much two weeks uh, as of today but the prize will be there is three copies up for grab of the new dlc so if you don't have that already and you you know can't afford to buy it until later on in the month or whatever like that Enter the competition. Who knows? You may be in with a chance of winning. Link in the description below to head over to the Red Dot Games Discord server and make sure you enter the competition. Read all the rules because they are different to normal. But let's get into this beautiful Hemi Cuda. We need to get this one started. So let's get it over to the car wash. Let's get it cleaned up. Let's get this little Cuda cleaned. It looks like it's a purple underneath all that dust and grime. Might be quite nice in a purple. Shall we stick with it? Who knows? That's not a purple. That is just a deep blue. Quite a nice colour, but it takes away from the black a little bit of that livery, in my opinion. Still looks very nice, though. Let's get the interior done. Get this beast back on the lift there. Get that Hemi Shaker hood. Hemi Shaker hood. The Hemi Shaker engine ripped out of there. Get everything stripped down. Start getting this one all back together. Ooh, Barracuda. Couldn't resist. Had to do that at some point in the video. Might as well get it out early. Checking for the oil pan. It is there. So let's get all of the oil drained out. See if this one's been well looked after. No, that is filthy. But at least it's got quite a bit of oil still running out there. So there we go. Sort of well looked after, I guess, to a degree. A few rusty bolts there, but not what we're looking for. We need to get in and get this drive shaft out of here. No rusty bolts on that. That rear end's looking quite clean, in all honesty. Maybe that won't need too much repairing. Hopefully, fingers crossed. One rusty bolt towards the front end there. And we can grab this beautiful little starter out. Get out the gearbox, which you always need to take out. And then them front exhaust sections. And that should be enough. Front exhaust pipes, whatever you want to call them. Sometimes they're exact sections. Sometimes they're pipes. Middle muffler and rear muffler. So only two other pieces for each side of the exhaust there. But let's see if we can get this engine ripped out of here first time round. Back down on the ground you go. Let's go and grab the engine crane. Get that beautiful 426 Hemi ripped out of there. Open the hood. And out you come. Yes, that's what we like. Nice and easy. Get the crane put away. Let's see what we've got going on in this engine bay. Well, it doesn't look like we've got anything missing up here, which is definitely always a good start. We do have a wishy-washy reservoir, a power steering reservoir, brake servo, and there's also liquids in this radiator. And then we've got the cheeky little battery just up here. No air filter by the looks of that one. And the fuse box just over here. We'll grab the lid off of that one there. Down the back, we've got the fuel tank and the fuel pump. But we need to get some liquids drained out. 
of this one, this one, this one, and this one. Right click, drain tool, additional tool, sorry, then drain tool. Click and hold. I'm going to start with the radiator just to show it does have liquid in it. That's where all your coolant goes for this one. So we'll get all of that drained out, get the rest of these liquids all out, and then get all of this stripped down, and come back and sort out the bodywork for this beautiful Hemi Cuda. That's everything mechanical, repaired, replaced, or upgraded, or ready to go back on this beautiful Cuda. But now we need to source out all of this bodywork, so let's just start tearing it down. Off with the hood, off with that front bumper headlight. Is that a separate part? That is. is this a part? No, that was the radiator sticking up through there. That's fine. Just double checking. Out with the fenders, doors. It looks like we do have windows and all the interior. No window there, though. Thought there was. Let's keep going around. One tail light, rear bumper. That license plate anything else on there rear window no not on there other tail lights missing body window on that side's definitely in and out with the door and that should be everything for the exterior i think i'm not 100 on that so let's get in and grab out this interior these are the new cuda benches and the seats and i think that's that's a new steering wheel i believe let's just take it off and see what it says it is the cuda steering wheel there we go so we'll definitely be putting all of this back in, but trying a few things, seeing if we can get splashes of some decent colours in there later. Is that everything? That's not the screen I want. Well, it kind of is. There is nothing showing up on there, so that is everything down to 1%. That is what we like to see. Now, the frame is at 71%. I always close that screen and then need it anyway. And we bought the car for a little over 50000 I think this one could sell for just a little bit, so I'm going to go 2100 1600 should have stuck with the old faithful 1500 there shouldn't i but i didn't let's get in and a check out to the body shop now obviously there are no tuning parts for any of these dlcs or this dlc that's the right choice of english there and if we go into here what are we doing the cuda there we go it is all just a single like for like replacement it's looking pretty good little trunk with a spoiler on there the cutout on the hood I absolutely love that. I want to take that hood and pin it on some other cars because I want to use that Hemi Shaker hood in some other vehicles, but nothing else has a wide enough cutout. As far as I'm aware, if you found something, do let me know in the comments. But there we go. We need to get ours all back together. Start getting all them body panels repaired, repaired that we can repair, replace what we have to replace, and then we can get it all back on before heading into the paint shop to pick a lovely colour for this beautiful Hemi Cuda. Let's get this car at the very least looking good from the outside. We're going to start with the interior. And before we jump into that, that's all the new Cuda stuff there. You've got a new Cuda rear bench, two Cuda front seats, and that beautiful wood framed steering wheel, which is beautiful. I, I love woodwork myself. Absolutely incredible. So let's get all of our interior in and take a good look at it. That lovely rear bench. I'm, I'm not sure what we'll be able to do with the colours on this one. It might just be the stitching again. But if it is... It is. We will find out what we can do with the Quality of Life mod a little bit later on in with that beautiful steering wheel. And then let's get all of this bodywork all back together. Just going to whiz through it because everything is like for like. Obviously, I did have to buy some of these pieces, but some of it I did manage to repair, which is always nice. Especially keeping that livery on there gives you sort of like an idea of what it all looks like. Nothing really on this side. The hood so far, I think, is the only thing behind that front bumper. But there we go. Let's keep going around in with the body window. Rear window, which we were missing, and trunk we were missing anyway. One of the tail lights we were missing, but tail lights obviously can't be repaired, so you do have to replace them anyway. Same as the headlights. So let's get all of them in. This door we managed to repair. That's always good. And then this this mirror. This mirror we did also manage to repair. Now I think that's everything apart from the plates. So let's get them on. And I've gone for my VM plates. Just with the Hemi Cuda written on them, I think it's quite fitting. Round to the back we go, get that rear license plate on as well. And then that should be everything now at 100%. We'll go into normal mode. Is it? It is indeed 100%, 100%, 100%. got to get that engine and suspension all sorted. But now we need to get this beast into the paint shop and decide what we're going to do with its wonderful colours. Let's see what we've got to play with with this beautiful Barracuda then. First off, it's quite a nice metallic silver. But I'm not sure. I like a bit more colour in it. Then we've got a solid grey. A nice gloss blue. Maybe that's what we'll go for. That might work. We'll see what the liveries are and come back to that one in a second. Then we've got a slightly darker gloss blue. And then an even darker gloss blue with a solid purple. Solid red. Gloss green. Solid green. And a dark solid green with a very light solid green. That's quite nice. I quite like that one. Maybe not though. We shall see. Then a slightly in between the solid green solid orange that's always a good shout if you can't think of something then this sort of burgundy red in there then a 
beige champagne i don't know i haven't got a clue then this lovely pinky sort of color then a nice light blue in the gloss maybe that depends on the liveries we shall see gloss red uh gloss white then we've got a gloss yellow i'm definitely going to call that one beige uh then we've got this sort of goldy brown metallic which is quite nice a uh, darker goldy brown metallic a lovely another gloss purple but slightly lighter and then whatever that's probably the champagne to be honest that's yeah still not my cup of tea for the minute i'm kind of on this one but we'll see what liveries we've got if we go in here the liveries are the barracuda hemi black obviously we've already seen that one we've got another one we have indeed a white one and the white and blue i think is what we are going to go for now do we want this blue or do we want the light blue I'm going to go for that slightly darker one with the white Hemi branding on there. That looks pretty sweet. Quite pleased with that one. Let's get it all painted. On you go there. Then we are going to crack on and get everything else painted to match. I'm thinking if we can get it to go, that shaker hood coming out of there in the white might look pretty awesome. And then a lot of blue accents. Maybe it's quite a bit of white in there as well because it is quite blue in there. We may splash another color. We shall see. Maybe some grays or maybe some other textures from the quality of life mod we will find out but there we go i'm going to crack on get everything painted and we can start getting this beautiful hemi barracuda all back together ready to hiss up the drag strip that's everything painted on our beautiful cuda ready to go all back together but i have made some changes i'll show you them some of them are probably quite obvious with the quality of life mod i've managed to paint this front bumper a white to match in with that livery along with the rear bumper as well looking pretty good on there and uh, as you can see we managed to get some white on that beautiful interior i think it looks absolutely fantastic and we managed to get a little bit of blue on the steering wheel without taking away from that wood effect on there and i think it looks pretty damn good very impressed with that all thanks to the quality of life mod that that's been able to do along with the most of the stuff that we have painted in here today so let's get on with it starting with these shocks we've got white shocks blue springs and white caps on there looking quite nice off you come and let's start getting some of this in you know the drill we're just going to put a couple of bits in or i'm just going to put the cross member in in a white and then we're going to show some clips of it all going in together and we'll talk about it afterwards Just putting on that last brake drum, and that is one side of the suspension all done in blue and white entirely throughout. Looking absolutely fantastic. We've got the blue cover on there, white knuckle, and then the white drum on top of it with a white drive axle in between. We've got the leaf spring in white and the U-bolts in white with the plate in a blue and that lovely shock in a white up there as well. Can we get up to the front? We can indeed. Lovely blue brake calipers on the front with the blue wheel hub and a white hub cap. And we've got blue, white, blue going across that piece there. Sway bar in a blue with the end link in a white. The upper and lower suspension arms. I did that the other way around. Uh, in a lovely blue with the shock, obviously, in that white and blue, as we've already seen. Looking very, very nice. Pleased with that. We've got a couple more parts to go in. Let's get the fuel tank in. Done that one in a blue. That's just in sort of like a gloss blue. But the water, the water pump, the fuel pump is in a white on top of there. Looking very, very nice pleased with that one so now i'm going to crack on get the other side of the suspension all done and we'll sort out the engine bay there isn't much in there before we go and build that beautiful shaker hemi all the suspension done in that beautiful blue and white looking absolutely fantastic we've also got the fuse box in white the engine bay is pretty blue so that will make sense when we get to it later but we need some other bits in the engine bay for example the wishy-washy reservoir just up here power steering reservoir brake servo obviously the fuse box already in battery and then the very last piece is the radiator which is in a off white i couldn't get it to go the same white without getting rid of all of these details and i wanted the details to stay so i made it as white as i possibly could while still keeping all the details on there looking very very nice obviously it still looks good you can still see that it is white in comparison to the blue in the engine bay but now we need to go and build that shaker hood v8 oh, i absolutely love this i think it looks so good we've got the block and the heads in white with a little splash of blue in there as well could be done with the quality of life mod using the white selection instead of like carbon fiber or something like that there's a white one 
you can get some really cool effects with it and obviously that oil pan in the blue there this side is ready to go with the rocker arms already on this side isn't quite we've got all of the push rods and the spark plugs in because they're hard to see and you wouldn't be able to see them anyway so we've just got the rocker arms to go there is eight push rods on each side so 16 in total and four spark plugs on each side so eight in total let's just get that rocker arm on on you go in there all bolted up and ready to go but before we crack on with the top of that we're going to get the front all finished off with not the engine block there we go the cam gear in there then we've got a little timing chain then we've got the timing cover which is in that blue looking absolutely fantastic on there in you go the water pump that is in a white going over the top of that blue it made sense in my head and it does look pretty good if i'm being honest and we've got a couple of little arms one to support the power steering pump and one to support the alternator which are both in a blue and then the alternator is in a chrome i did try and get chrome with these all in blue but i could not get it to work power steering pump is in the same chrome again with the red tried to get them in blue but couldn't get it to work plus they needed to match to a degree anyway crankshaft pulley is in the chrome as well and then we've got the oil filter just in a blue water pump pulley is also in a blue on the top there and we've got a blacked out belt as per usual another blacked out belt as per usual and then the radiator fan is also in a lovely white on the top there we just nip up here the ignition coil is in a blue but obviously it's just the lettering but it looks really good so we're definitely happy with how that turned out the distributor is in chrome with blue accents i could get that one to work on there and then we've got the rotor in which isn't anything and the distributor cap in that blue with some lovely white clips just going on there to finish that off looking very very nice we'll get the fuel filter in now which is in just a little cheeky white just for good measure and then we've got the head covers in that blue and they look absolutely fantastic on there let's nip around and get the other side in in you go also in that blue would have been weird if i did them alternating or a completely different color then we've got the ignition wires which are in a white and they're looking very very nice on there intake manifold in a lovely blue and then we've got some really cool bits coming up i like these pieces the carburetors are in a blue but they're chrome with blue accents i got it to work on these pieces and they looked so good i was trying to get the same effect on the alternator and the power steering pump i just couldn't quite get it to go but they're looking cool not that you'll ever really see it because you don't see the chrome parts but it doesn't matter then for our air filter base this is white no it's not it's blue but it does have some white in it we use the white addition to make it blue and white on there in with the air filter in with the cover but that doesn't matter what color that is so we just left it and then we've got a lovely white hemi shaker hood and i did again try to get the blue on these pieces but couldn't get it to work so we settled with a steel black on there just so that the text was a lot more visible than it was in the chrome and i honestly think that looks fantastic but let's carry on exhaust the manifolds we've kept them in a chrome they are a forced chrome not so much a forced chrome like it was before but a selection choice of chrome same as the carbon fiber with the quality of life mod and it looks absolutely beautiful the rest of the exhaust is mostly in chrome we will talk about that in just a little while that's that beautiful engine finished i really do love that so let's get it dropped in our beautiful hemi cuda in you go and we're going to get this crane put away we'll take a look at it inside the engine bay not too high this car so we can see it without going into photo mode and that looks so good a little bit darker but uh the the engine bay itself is more of a matte blue and this is obviously a gloss blue so it looks i'm very pleased with it it looks fantastic and then if we close the hood we've just got that white sticking up with the black lettering and the black grill on there really am pleased with it i think it looks absolutely fantastic but let's get it up in the air we've got a few more extra pieces to go in and the rear exhaust pieces are definitely some pieces i'm very very pleased with with the gearbox itself is in blue but it's got a white overlay so you just get a couple of blue bits on there making it just pop that a little bit more looking very very nice then we've got the starter just in a little blue on there blue and black obviously all the exhaust as i said is mostly in a chrome so let's just start getting all of this in and then if we go down to the rear pieces whoa jumpy if we go down to the rear pieces they are white because they've got white tips on them i'm hoping we'll see in a second but i'm hoping they look absolutely fantastic then the drive shaft itself last piece we did that one in a white blue white and then obviously where it connects is in a blue on there so that really worked for me and i think it looks so so good but let's take a little slow walk out and see how it looks plenty of blue plenty of white and some chrome in there and then the white tip sticking out the back underneath the white bumper absolutely beautiful really do love that think it looks so so good 
But there we go. We're going to get some windows tinted, some liquids topped up, some wheels done. And get this beautiful car outside in the sun. Well, there she is then, the finished Plymouth Barracuda. Absolutely stunning. This has been a great build. Really enjoyed doing this one. A few custom elements that are only available with the Quality of Life mod. But a lot of the livery you can see, the rims obviously you can paint. Can't quite get the bolts in normal mode, but you can paint them to a white colour or a blue colour matching the body. I have used the window tint feature on the front fender to get these reflectors to a white instead of a yellow or an orange. At the back, they are still in the orange, but they're surrounded by a bit of blue and they're on the white. So it looks kind of good. Very, very pleased with it anyway. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And I love that engine in there. I think it's beautiful. The shaker hood is one of my new favourite elements in the game i think it's absolutely fantastic but let's talk about these rims then i went for the rim at retro 11 which isn't what comes on it it comes with the atlanta but i thought we'd give it a bit of custom element as it doesn't have its own specific rims at the front here they are an 18 inch rim with a 215 width and a 40 profile on there just about not clipping with the arch even when turning the original ones do go up into the arch a little bit because it's flared out so much they don't really clip anyway they look fantastic but i just wanted to change it just a little bit give it more of that forward leaning stance especially as we've gone for much bigger rims at the back while well, the rims themselves are still 18 inch but the wheels are 245 width with their 50 profile on there blue and white and then at the front there, we got white and blue are looking absolutely fantastic. This really is a beautiful, beautiful car. The interior, a few custom paint options on the seats there just to sort of blend them in, make them fit in with the white on the livery. I did try some blue, but it was just a little bit too much. But let's jump in, check out. I love all the wood features in here. I think they're absolutely beautiful. As again, said it in the last video, I do love a few wooden elements in a dashboard or on an interior. We did get a bit of blue on the steering wheel as well. Could have made all of it blue apart from the wood, but I thought it was a bit too much. I thought I'd leave some chrome elements in there, especially we've got a bit of chrome on the engine as well. But let's get this one started and see what that Hemi shaker sounds like. That's a nice tick over. Loving that one. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Let's give it some gas, though. Relatively low rev on that one. The rev limiter just under or about five and a half thousand. But it sounds absolutely beautiful. Loving that. But let's get this beast onto the dyno. See what its horsepower is with the tuned engine. What its drag rating will be. And then let's get onto the drag strip. On the dyno with the Hemi 426 of Plymouth Barracuda. That beautiful shaker hood option on there. 425 factory horsepower. How much have we added today? And what will its drag rating be? A gain of 362 horsepower. 86%. Not bad at all. Pretty good on there. With the total measured horsepower of 787. Pretty, pretty good. And a drag rating of A of 598. So not too far into the A, but we are still in A class nonetheless. Let's have a look at the gearbox tuning we've gone for. I've gone for a 2.2 ratio, 91 kilometers an hour in first gear, up to 340 in fourth gear. I did just keep it the four gears. I haven't really tweaked these at all. I just brought it down to 2.2, and I found that worked an absolute treat on the drag strip, for me at least anyway. There is no ECU in this one, but there are two carburettors. There is a video for tuning the carburettors. I'll put a link up here and a link in the description below, so go and check that out for just that little bit extra help. But now, let's get onto the drag strip and try and win a tournament. Drag racing a Barracuda. I am definitely looking forward to this. Into we go. King of the Sands, one mile, an A class. Pay our thousand entry fee. And who have we got today? Our first race is against Buckshot. Haven't seen you in a little while. Against the Carrera powered Beetle. So this could be quite a short tournament for us, in all honesty. Who else have we got in here today then? Let's have a look. Killer. Nice to see you in the Rayfield Caliburn, a carbon steel edition versus my brother in the Dom Toretto Fast and Furious 1 hero car. Pretty epic battle going on there. But let's get into our first race against that Type 1 Carrera. Sorry, Buckshot, but I really hope you lose and we make it through into the next round. I do love a Volkswagen Beetle, and it does look quite good in sort of that gunmetal grey ishy sort of colour there. I'm not going to definitively say gunmetal grey. And lovely grey colour in there, looking fantastic. But it isn't quite as good as our completely very custom Plymouth for Barracuda. Will we be able to win or are we going out in the first round against the Carrera-powered Beetle? Let's just get in. Let's go. Off the line. Come on, you can do it. Into second. 
Come on, I don't want to lose to a beetle in a barracuda into third. Only got one more gear to go. And yeah, the beetle is already starting to pull away. Are we going to be able to pull back in front? It doesn't look like it. Come on, Barracuda. Oh, we are. We're pulling back in front. We're going to beat the Carrera Power Beetle. Oh, come on. I'm very happy about that. Let's just get across the finish line and see what times and speeds we get with our first run. Definitely, definitely happy about getting that win under our belt there. That was quite close. And it was just a little bit more powerful than we were with the drag ratings, at least. Anyway, but there we go. Quarter of a mile in 10.306 seconds. So close. Uh, one mile in 25.3 seconds. Again, exceedingly, exceedingly close. They had us in the quarter of a mile, but we just about pulled it back in at the one mile with a top speed of 329 kilometers an hour. Let's get back. Let's see who we've got next in this tournament. Well, next up for us is the Lit Edition Audi R8. We know that thing is quick, but is it got the right tune on it to beat us here today? Killer did beat my brother, which is a bit unfortunate for my brother, but it's nice to see Pi go through to the next round. Up against the Jeep Cherokee Race Car Edition. Again, that one's pretty epic. We need to get in, though, and try and beat this beautiful Audi R8. Now, this is the kind of pairing you want to see on a drag strip, and you will see on drag strips throughout the world. A classic muscle car versus a modern super or maybe even hyper car, depending on the engine and the performance mods on that beautiful Audi. It's going to be a tough one. Maybe a bit tougher than the Carrera. Let's just get in and find out. Hopefully the Barracuda can get this extra win under its belt. Let's go. Off the line. Come on, beautiful Plymouth. Into second. Into third third and see where we are well we are out in front of the audi as it stands at the moment hopefully we can keep that up as we carry on down the track but the audi should have a very good top speed still not with us at the moment come on are we going to get this win he's so happy if we beat the audi r8 and is it i'm surprised i mean i know that carrera beetle is very fast but i'm surprised that audi hasn't given us more of a run for our money what have we got though is it better than our first run is the Audi even going to finish? Just about finished. Is it better than our first run? We are a little bit slower, unfortunately, with a 10.382 to the quarter of a mile, 25.463 to the one mile. Top speed still the same at 329 kilometers an hour. We've made it through to the next round. Who have we got? Did Pi make it through? Let's go have a look. Well, we have made it through to the next round and we've already made back our entry fee plus a little bit of profit. So happy with that. Sadly, Killer didn't make it through to the next round. That Jeep Cherokee race car beat it, but it is a race car. We get it. And uh, in the other spot we've got going on down there is the Ford F100 a monster truck, which probably shouldn't be here. But there we go. And we've got the Mitsubishi Lanzo Evo 10 KS edition in our next race that could be quite a challenge so let's get in and see if we can make it through to the final and try and win some extra money i'm not gonna lie so far this has been one of my favorite drag tournaments we've had some epic cars up against us the carrera with the, uh, the carrera powered beetle should i say for the first race then we had the audi r8 and now we've got an evo 10 this is all things you would see on the drag strip quite regularly i'm excited by this one though this could be a bit extreme so let's see if we can beat that beautiful Evo. Fingers crossed, hopefully we can. Let's get in, listen to that tick over, and let's go. There we go, off the line. We've had pretty good starts every time. Into second, into third. Where's the Evo? Oh, we are just about pulling in front, but now we are pulling away from it. I think we might have this one under our belt already as we get into top gear. Doesn't look like it's catching us, so hopefully we can get this one down, get across the finish line, make it into the final maybe within this race or the next race get our best speed of the day there we go across the line what have we got 10.238 so so far this is our best runner to the quarter of a mile and a 25.245 it's also our best runner to the one mile with the same top speed of 329 kilometers an hour we've made it into the final who are we up against a little part of me kind of hopes it's that monster truck well, it's not the monster truck, but I'll be honest, I didn't think it was going to be. The Jeep Cherokee race car that did knock out Killer, or our friend Pi Newton, as we like to call him. Pretty extreme. So will we be able to beat it with our beautiful Hemi-powered Plymouth Barracuda? Let's just get in and find out. A very, very custom Jeep Cherokee there. Obviously built for the racetrack as it is a race car, but it should be pretty good on the drag strip. We obviously know our Barracuda has been pretty good up to this point so far. Can we win this final race? 
There is only one way to find out. Let's go. Off the line. Come on, Plymouth. We can win this final race. I want to win at this tournament with you. It's been such a fun build. It'll just be very happy. Yes, we are pulling away from that race car Jeep Cherokee. Hopefully we can steal this win. Not even stealing it. I feel like we've had it from the first race when we beat that Carrera-powered Volkswagen beat. No! The Jeep Cherokee race car has just flown past us. Much higher top speed. But there we go. Such a shame we've lost it in the final. But how was this run? Was it any good? 10.233 to the quarter of a mile. Just about beating out our last run. Being our fastest run of the day to the quarter. 25.241 for the one mile. Also just about beating out our last run. Being our fastest of the day. But still with the same, same top speed. Struggling to say that. Of 329 kilometers an hour. So we didn't quite win the tournament. A bit of a shame. But we did make it into the final. We've got some relatively good winnings. So let's get back and collect them. Get this Barracuda back to the garage. Try and sell it on a little bit of profit well there we have it then 5250 not quite as good as winning but we're still in a profit from what we've paid for the entry of this drag racing tournament obviously at the very beginning we were down 5604 paid a thousand to entry so we still haven't clawed quite back that yet but hopefully we should be able to sell this beautiful plymouth on for a little bit of extra profit and make money on this stunning build all finished with the Plymouth Barracuda. Not the quickest on the drag strip, but still very fun nonetheless. And that Hemi Shaker engine looks absolutely beautiful. Loving that one so, so much. So we managed the quickest quarter of a mile time of 10.233 on this one here today. Not too shabby. The one mile at 25.241 and a top speed of 329 kilometers an hour. But... The real question is, will we be able to make some money from this beautiful Plymouth Hemi Cuda? He did manage to get 62nd on the speeder board, which isn't too bad at all. The Hellcat Widebody was 57th. The Chrysler 300C was 69th. And obviously today's was 62nd. So right in the middle of the three we've done so far, not too bad. But let's talk some facts and figures. I bought the car for 50722 Could have sold it at a loss of 5604 So we've got some money to claw back. But we then spent another 79404 upgrading, tuning, modifying, and painting this beautiful, beautiful Barracuda, paying our total spend at 130126 Can we make some profit? Let's get in. Let's take a look. Well, there we are then, all finished with the Barracuda. Let's see if we can make some money. All 100% complete. That engine from 425 all the performance parts added a little bit of tuning, taking us up to 787 horsepower. A lovely gain of just about 86%, which I'm very, very pleased with. But we spent 130,126 to do it. Can we make some profit? Yes, but not very much. With a sale price of 138,576, it leaves us with a profit of 8,450 is a little bit close but we do have some drag strip winnings to go on top of that 5250 bringing us up to 13700 profit from this beautiful barracuda i absolutely love this one so nice we will be doing some more custom versions of these in the very near future but for now it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful barracuda we'll take that little bit of profit off you go definitely really enjoyed that what have we got up next well i did ask you guys to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and nobody did for this one. So I've picked myself and we have gone for the beautiful Dodge Challenger RT. The 1970. We're saving the other modern Challenger until very last because the wide body and the standard one aren't that much different. They both have the same engines. And I'm thinking when we come to do the standard wide body and the standard Hellcat, we will do a full three star performance upgrade on it and see what we can get out of that little beast when we get to the end of all of these beautiful cars. So apart from that, Standard Hellcat, what would you like to see after we've done this Dodge Challenger on Monday? Now, these are available from the barn, the junkyard, and the auction house. We got ours from the junkyard. It doesn't happen very often. Sometimes it does. And this one's a bit of a wreck, let's be honest. I feel like it's had a few accidents in its time. And it's going to take a little bit more repairing than usual. But did we get a good deal? No. Even from the junkyard. I bought it for 8010 and could sell it for 7520 Losing out... 490 but i'm sure we'll be able to claw that one back by the end 
of this build on Monday. The engine in this one is the V8 Hemi 446 pack. And I am just going to leave what's in there in there. We've got some options to change it to. But I want to test the, all of these out with the engines that they come with. This one's got 390 horsepower with all the performance parts. Hopefully we can increase that by quite a bit. And again, get this one down the drag strip and hopefully have a slightly better day than we had today. I'm still very happy we're coming second with that Plymouth Barracuda. So do make sure you join us back here on Monday for this beautiful, beautiful classic Dodge Challenger. Absolutely love this one. Slightly bigger fan of the Charger than the Challenger, but that's just my personal opinion. What did you think of today's build? Do let me know in the comments below. Any suggestions of colours for that lovely Challenger? Again, let me know. Give us a little thumbs up. Always make sure that you are subscribed and share this video if you really, really want to. I definitely would appreciate it. The more views, the absolute better. Most of all, though, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, whatever it is you're getting up to. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Don't forget, DLC is out now.